Toviyahu, Tobit, 14. So, Toviyahu made an end of praising Elohim, and he was eight and fifty years old when he lost his sight, which was restored to him after eight years. And he gave alms, and he increased in the fear of Yahuwah Elohim, and praised him. And when he was very aged, he called his son and the sons of his son, and said to him, My son, take your children, for behold, I am aged, and am ready to depart out of this life. Go into Madai, my son, for I surely believe those things which Yonah, the prophet, spoke of Nineveh, that it shall be overthrown, and that for a time peace shall rather be in Madai, and that our brethren shall lie scattered in the earth from that good land, and Yerushalayim shall be desolate, and the house of Elohim in it shall be burned, and shall be desolate for a time. And that again Elohim will have mercy on them, and bring them again into the land, where they, sh where they shall build a temple, but not like to the first, until the time of that age be fulfilled. And afterward they shall return from all places of their captivity, and build up Yerushalayim gloriously, and the house of Elohim shall be built in it forever with a glorious building. And the prophets, rather, as the prophets have spoken thereof, and all nations shall turn and fear Yahuwah Elohim truly and shall bury their idols. So shall all nations praise Yahuwah, and his people shall confess Elohim, and Yahuwah shall extol his people, and all those which love Yahuwah Elohim in truth and justice shall rejoice, showing mercy to our brethren. And now, my son, depart out of Nineveh, because that those things which the prophet Yonah spoke shall surely come to pass. But guard the Torah and the commandments, and show yourself merciful and just, that it may go well with you, and bury me decently, and your mother with me. But tarry no longer at Nineveh, Remember, my son, how Haman handled Achi Acharas that brought him up, how out of light he brought him into darkness, and how he rewarded him again. Yet Achi Acharas was saved, but the other had his reward, for he went down into darkness. Manasheh gave alms, and escaped the snares of death, which they had set for him. But Haman fell into the snare and perished. Wherefore now, my son, consider what alms do, and how righteousness delivers. When he had said these things, he gave up his ruach in the bed, being a hundred and eighty and five, rather, being a hundred and eight and fifty years old. And he buried him honorably. And when Chana, his mother, was dead, he buried her with his father. But Toviyahu departed with his woman and children to Echbatani, to Reu El, his father-in-law where he became old with honor, and he buried his father and mother-in-law honorably. And he inherited their substance and his father, Toviyahu's, 
and he died at Echbatani in Madai, being a hundred and seven and twenty years old. But before he died, he heard of the destruction of Nineveh, which was taken by Nebuchadne Setsar and Ach Ash Verosh. And before his death, he rejoiced over Nineveh.